Hello and welcome or welcome back to this little video series about removal dice models using the Form4B printer and precision model resin. My name is Bernard von Oppel and I'm a master data technician here at Formlabs. And now we are here in the episode 5 where we are going to look into the design steps in 3Shape Dental System Model Builder. So let's get started. So here I have opened up my installation of 3Shape Dental System and I have a couple of files that are already designed. There is already a model, but we're going to repeat the process so you actually see how I made this. The first thing is that you need to actually probably set up your order. So we're going to look into this. So this is what we have in this order. So if I click on this, we can see what you need to set up here. You have to choose material form labs model, manufacture formless dental, manufacturing process form labs, and cut settings form for B precision model. That's super important because there are also other presets available, like the ones for the form 3B, for example. I can actually go into the model building process. I'm not going to show you all the little steps in this process. That's not a three shape model builder tutorial, but I'm going to show you the main points that you need to respect to have well functioning and always working removal dice models. So in the first design step here, you can align your model properly, add scans, merge scans, and so on. I'm more interested in the second step because in this step, you actually can cut away parts of your scan that you don't want to have in your model. In this case, this already has been done and this option is hidden behind trim upper jaw. And then we click next. We're going to click on this option, make the original model. In the next step, we can section our model, which is the step allowing us to define the die interfaces. A little word about these two options. Using this option means that you are using the margin line exactly how they are when you designed your restorations. And then you can also define sectioning lines, which in this case, if I'm scrolling in, would have been a little bit lower from the actual margin line that you see right here because you can go into the soft tissue and keep all the anatomical information that is above. So here we are. This is how our dies for precision model with the form 4B look. These dies are actually not square shaped like it is the default in 3Shape. We prefer to have a more organical shape and you have a taper that you can see here which is set to four degrees. If you're not happy with the dice or if you accidentally use the wrong settings, you can always come over here to the settings and choose the right setting here from this little menu. So now we can go to the next step. So in this case, we actually can add an ID tag or any labeling or we can also use any articulator interface. I'm not going to use this right now, so I'm clicking again next. And here in the final step, I have the options to do some final adjustments, like smoothing out some transitions here, sculpting on the model, whatever I don't want, I can cut it away. And then if I'm ready and happy with what I see, I can click next. And here we are, this is our model. And typically for three shape, you will have a hole here, which serves two purposes. One purpose is preventing the die interface to be a suction cup. And the second one, having an optical control of the proper seating of your die. You can see how this actually looks on the inside. You have conical shaped dies and a beautiful ready to print model. That's all you need to know to properly use Reshade and our library. So in this episode, we were seeing how to use Dental System and properly design a removable dice model with our presets. One thing I want to remind you is that you actually need to download the library from the application guide and properly install it, which is explained in episode number two. And in any case, if you see dice that look different from what you expected, always double check that you're using the right setting. Then we're all set and we can proceed to the next episode, which is how to properly set up the model that you just designed in Preform and make it ready for 3D printing. I hope to see you there. Thank you.